friends is Tracy and Violet sitting right down here on the floor from Tracy and Violet or tea time with Tracy and Violet. Today is the very first day of school for my for four of my children. The other two are too old to go to school. Well, school school. But um it's 2:24 in the afternoon and I have some packages. I wasn't planning on making this video. Um I planned on doing a teacup chat, but today, being the first day of school, I really just was a bump on a log. No joke. I haven't done nothing. Nothing. All day long. Except laundry. And look through the deep freezer to see what I can make for supper. And, yeah. Anyways, Violet and I just came down because we had a little kink this afternoon. And I just, I set my alarm for quarter after two. I just made myself a coffee. I'm not having a tea now. I need a coffee because the kids will get home in about 20 minutes. <sighs> Delicious. So I wanted to open some mail. Um, this, I know what these are. I bought these for one of my daughters, Misha. I could save it for Christmas or I think I'm just going to give the things to her randomly because she's in a reading phase right now she loves to read books and how do I open this mother oh, this was from indigo like I bought it online and I had a sale if you bought two you got the third free two dog man books she likes these dog man books and I was hoping to heck I didn't get ones that she she has two books already but no, I don't recognize these ones. Ah, Dog Unleashed, Dog Lord of the Fleas, Dog Man, Grime and Punishment. So, I got these ones. Yeah, they're like those, like comics or whatever. I know a lot of people these days read manga and graphic no novels. I've never read any of those. I've never gotten into them. I'm not knocking them at all. But um, that's what these remind me of. Um, they're kind of pricey books, but I mean, it's worth it. This deal was worth it to me. Like uh, Cole's Bookstore and Chapters Bookstores under the umbrella of Indigo. Here in Canada, anyways. I don't know if that's in the States or not. I don't know, but... Those three books. Violet's over there. Now I'm down. So, I really can't tell you what these ones are. Like, I'm sure I ordered them, but I can't see what's in the packages until I open them. And I was going to do this over on my Nova Scotia Living uh, channel, but I'm like, no, I'll do it here. And then I can show them over there after I'm done it here. And that way I can get this video up and that video up and we'll see um, I bought this book second hand I can see now from Norwalk Public Library The Devil Crept In by uh, Anaya All Allborn I just read a book of hers back in August called Brother and it was quite the interesting story I haven't got a chance to sit down and talk to you about it but I wanted to get another one of her books to see if it's similar to Brother. Probably not the same kind of story, but um, I found it nice to, like easy to read her Brother book. And I will get into that when I have one of those channel uh, book chats with you. But there, bought it secondhand. Mystery fiction. Yeah, but Nora Walk. I don't know where that is. Anyways that one looking forward to that here's another one oh violet ooh behind closed doors again i bought this one second hand this doesn't look like it was from a library this is like a thriller suspense book. What I remember what it is, is this perfect couple, uh, like man and wife, seem absolutely perfect on the outside, but behind closed doors, 
not so much. And I don't really know anything other than that. But I've seen people talking about it. And yeah. I plan on reading more thriller suspense this November and December. And I'm just building a collection. Because I never really read those kind of books very much. And I'm in a point in my life. I want to expand my reading experience. And I'm getting some hard-hitting ideas from people that do read suspense thriller books. Oh, this one. I've been waiting for this one. Suffer the Children. I bought this one secondhand by Craig DeLuey. DeLuey? There. This sounds really creepy and interesting and terrifying. I hope it is, but it's about some small village somewheres. It's wintry. I wanted to read creepy, scary things in the winter too, like Dead of Winter. So I probably will save this till after Halloween, even though it's kind of horror-ish. Horror -ish. Her horror -ish. This small rural area, I don't know which country in my mind, it pops into my head like it is in Russia or something. I have no idea, really. Nobody said anything like that, I don't think. Anyways, but this whole village, the children die. All the children die. And of course, all the parents are devastated. Devastated. And um, a while later, they start to wake up. These children start to wake up when they're about to be buried. And they can only survive on blood. So parents have their children back, but they have to feed them blood to feed them, like to sustain them. Or the children are like little terrors. So it brings, I think, people to the point of what you will do for your children and how terrifying that could be if, you know, food supply is limited. Nightmare. Nightmare. So, time is it? 31. Good. That seems terrifying to me. Throw me in a haunted house or monsters or anything like that. I love reading about it. It doesn't really scare me. Something like that might scare me. Might scare me. Just. Oh, this isn't a book. I didn't know what this was. I just ordered some candles. Some candles, different ones. They're not as big as I thought they were going to be, but it's important to have different color candles for different purposes. And that's all I'll say about that one. They're not big candles either. I'm just checking this. Nope. Make sure that they're not broken. And they don't seem to be, so. Put them back in there for a rainy day. I need some extra, extra uh, energy, I guess. It's a 40 pack. Okay, that wasn't a book, but that was in my pile. At Amazon. This might not be a book either. I don't think this is a book. This might be some good candles too. Yes, they are. Well, this isn't part of my book haul. I'm going to open it now that you're here with me anyways. This is a quick, unexpected video. And I got two big white pillar candles. So, yeah. So that's my book haul for today. <laughs> and I got everything. Oh no. This isn't a book either. I'm going to open it since you're here with me. Anyways, and then after Violet, we're going to go outside. I think I know what this is. Oh. It's the pendulum. I won't take it out because I need to cleanse it and things, but it's a pendulum. So 
So there, there you go, there you go. But yeah, that's good. I'm gonna hide those dog man books for Misha. And ta-da! Um, and I'll save those. I'll probably divvy those out just once, once every once in a while when she's having a good day or a bad day and she needs a little pick me up. Here you go, sister. Here's a new book because I know new books make me happy too. So <laughs> new secondhand books make me happy too. So whatever, whatever. So anyways, thanks so much for joining me today. It's been all right, guys. Editing me. This is after the kids got home. Before I end the video. A delivery guy just came while I was outside waiting for the kids, so we'll open that up and put it in our book haul check. Cause do you think? Oh. Do you think it's a book, Zaya? Yeah. Yeah. Do you we think? Got a, yeah, uh, yeah, I got her some more treats the other day. Why you put it on your book thing? <laughs> I want some beef jerky. That's not. I know. That's dog beef jerky. So I'll open these ones. Don't wiggle the table, Alicia. Ooh, boy. Yep. A book. Oh, stop, Misha. Yeah, I can't talk about these when my little kids are in the house or in the room because they're not appropriate. Just a minute. Okay, I got this one. I was wondering where these were because on my order it said it was delivered already. I'm like, it's not here. It's supposed to be delivered two days ago. And I'm like, did they drop it at the wrong doorstep and somebody kept my books? But this one, I forget now, it's a disturbing book, apparently. A suspense thriller, disgusting book in a sense. I guess this girl, Lisa, is kidnapped uh, and they aren't asking for a ransom. Kidnapped to be in a snuff film, if you know what I'm talking about. And she has to do whatever she can do to survive. So. I guess it's quite disturbing and if you watch my videos I said I like the deep dark scariest dirtiest disturbingest kind of stuff to see I want that uh, shook feeling so that's what this is by JF Gonzalez survivor and then this one The One by John Mayer, I guess that show that's on Netflix, The One, or You, is that what it is? I can't remember. Whatever it is, I've never watched it. But I see a lot of people talk about this book and say it's fantastic. So um, I got two books of his, actually. I got that one, and I got this one. I don't really know what this one is about. This one I know is about two ladies that live in a house. I think they're sisters and one is locked in the attic, but is brought downstairs to eat and they have some sort of close relationship, but she, then she gets locked back up in the attic or something. I don't know. So anyways, yeah. And then last but not least, I hear this one is quite terrifying too. The Cabin at the End of the World by Tom Tremblay. I have another book of his, which I haven't read yet. I forget what it's called, but this is about um, this family, this gay couple, and their little girl rented a cabin up in Canada somewhere, um, isolated scenario, and strangers kind of invade. They approach the little girl first, apparently, and say, you gotta tell your daddies to let us come in because we're gonna save the world and things, so it's almost, that's all I know about it. I don't know, I don't know, but, they say it's quite suspenseful and terrifying. So, right up my alley. All right, back to the ending. Morning me today. It's been, I was gonna say it's been a busy day, but it has not. But it's been a bump on a log kind of day, and I just made a coffee to go sit outside and wait for my children. And I thought, well, I'm gonna open this mail and I'll do it with you guys. So, again, thanks so much for joining me today. And I do plan on now that the kids are going back to school, getting back on track with my teacup book chats because I got lots to talk about lots to talk about today I just haven't it's a day rest for me I'm just taking it easy because 
Um, it's a day that I can actually twiddle my thumbs <laughs> when the kids are gone to school the very first day in months. So there you go. Anyways, peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, all right, guys. Well, I need to go to get out there. So with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will maybe see you tomorrow. Bye. Bloop. Thank you.